You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I made it to the fourth video in the cast iron skillet video series. This is the cinnamon roll. So we did, let's see. We did Hershey's brownie. We did Mrs. Fields chocolate chip cookie. We did a Reese's peanut butter and chocolate chip cookie. And now it is a cinnamon roll, which is a completely different kind of product because it's actually a dough that I need to proof and different instructions here so i will have to get to that just shortly what i do need is water and yeast and melted butter for coating so when i come back i will have this out and we'll take a look at all the pieces with the set well here we go my pan is now washed you get the cinnamon roll mix and then the icing mix so let me move those out of the way because first step really after it's washed is to season the pan i will definitely take that off before i put it in the oven so don't worry about that so it's just a matter of getting some oil on the pan and then wiping it off and you usually do this almost every time you use one of these pans you give it a nice wiping with a little bit of oil sometimes you can bake it just with the oil on to first season it right so there you go so when I come back it's time to make a cinnamon roll now that the pan is ready we can start making our cinnamon rolls in this pack it was actually the cinnamon and sugar after I was making sure I had all the ingredients. They give you a recipe for making the icing, so you need all those ingredients as well. So what you will need up here is what you'll need just to make the cinnamon roll, not to make the icing, so you'll need more stuff. So the first thing it says is mix the water and the yeast. So I got a third a cup of water and a quarter teaspoon of yeast to activate it. Get it all out of there, we need all that yeast. Okay, add the mixture to roll mix and mix with wooden spoon until dough starts to form a ball. Okay, so let that activate and let's get this going here. Making some cinnamon rolls. So that cinnamon sugar is what you sprinkle on. You got to melt a little butter, which I have here in a bowl, but I won't need till later. So you need that and then... You are good to go, I think. That's all the ingredients you'll need. And I'll make the icing with you. Okay, so now it says, uh, what did it say? Add the mixture to roll mix and mix with wooden spoon. So it doesn't say how long to let this activate. Usually when it starts bubbling, it starts to bubble. I got some bubbles now, you know it's activating. So we'll just go for it. Here we go. Do, 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 do. And then add the mixture to roll mix and mix with wooden spoon. That's what it was. So make sure I get all the yeast out of there. Third of a cup of water. Till it forms a ball. Now fortunately since the oven's on, I can proof this near the oven because it's nice and warm there. It's good to have a nice warm area when you're proofing, right? Continue kneading by hand. So form a ball, then continue kneading by hand until dough comes together. And then you are set. Pretty excited about this one. Different than the other ones we did. Only because it's got, you know, more steps, more things to do. And it's a cinnamon roll. Let's just say it's pretty good, huh? I can help it along here with my hands quicker than a wooden spoon. All right, so we'll just keep kneading and getting this all incorporated in there. You can still feel it's a little sticky in spots. All right, look at that. So it's gonna rise, it says continue kneading by hand until dough comes together, which is not there. And then I got a proofer for 20 to 25 minutes. And then need an additional minute after proofing and spread the dough out on the skillet. Not sure why I need to do that because then it says roll the dough out into a log. So I'm not sure why I need to spread it on the skillet and then take it out and roll it onto a log. I think that might be in the wrong spot. Coat evenly with melted butter and sprinkle with cinnamon sugar Mix evenly over the buttered dough. Place the dough log into the skillet in a cinnamon roll spiral shape. 
proof for 30 minutes. Oops. Yeah, there we go. It's starting to, starting to come together now. All right, I will keep kneading this until I think we're close, and then I'll bring it into the proofing area, I'll call it. We'll check back in there. I'm just going to need this a little bit more, just to make it a little smoother. Just my area is sliding a lot. Do it this way. This might be easier. You can still tell it's already starting to come together. If I was on a countertop that didn't slide, it would sure be easier. I could have put this on a towel or something, but, you know, we'll get through it. All right, so when I come back, I'll have this proofing, and we'll check it out, you know, maybe through the proofing process, so we'll see how it rises. I'll be right back. All right, so there's our dough. It's proofing. I have a towel over it. Spray a little cooking spray on the bottom just so it doesn't stick at all, and we'll check back. It's only been about five minutes, so another... 15 minutes. All right, so it grew probably twice the size. Not huge, but twice the size. So let me take it out of here because it says to knead it a little bit more. So I'll just give it one of those little knockdowns. It says knead for another minute. So it is much softer now and, you know, not as tight as it was before. And then spread the dough out on the skillet. I'm not sure why they want me to do that, but I'll just spread it because the skillet's got oil on it. I just don't want to do that just yet. I don't think they want this to be too oily. Okay. Not a minute yet. Then it says, let's see. Place the dough log. Oh, roll the dough out into a log. Ooh, I like that. Coat evenly with melted butter and sprinkle with cinnamon sugar. Mix evenly over the butter dough. Okay. And then place the dough log into the skillet in a cinnamon roll spiral. Proof for 30 minutes. All right, got to concentrate on this here. You can tell the dough has definitely changed over time. Okay, that's about right. Spread out on a skillet. Hmm. Maybe someone could clarify that. Oop, there's my minute of my minute of kneading. But I'll just do what it says, just so that I can say I did what it said. I mean, maybe they just want it to relax a little bit more and stretch out. Change my angle here. There we go. And spread the dough. I mean, it's not like you could spread this. It's dough. Then roll it into a log. Maybe it's just to get the approximate size. I'm not sure. But this will relax it. That's close. Very close. Okay. That makes no sense to me. Roll the dough into a log. Okay, see, now why am I going to do that? Maybe they just want it to have that rolled center section. I'm not sure. i got to get something down here. here. Let me do this. Let me put a towel underneath this. I'll be right back. Okay, that should be better. The towel is just a little damp, too, so it's going to hold everything. I'm guessing it's going to have to be about maybe a half inch thick. What do you think? Needs to relax a little bit more. Relax, though. Relax. It's okay. You're just going to get eaten. Don't be so stressed. That's helping it along. I'm going to get it a little thinner now. I'm just going to keep working it. Make sure it doesn't rip. I'll do that. It seems to work better when I just focus in one area. 
Then coat the whole thing in butter and sprinkle with the cinnamon sugar. Not there yet. I'm not happy with it. But it's getting there. It's a little tense. I can just feel it. Stretch. Stretch. I wish they would say, well, to a half inch thick so you know exactly what it's going to take to make the cinnamon roll fill the pan. I think that's good. Okay. Now, place the dough log on. Okay. Uh, roll the dough. Did that. Cover with melted butter and sprinkle with cinnamon sugar. All right. Cover the whole thing with melted butter. Here we go. La -da -da. Whole thing so I think they want you to do all the sides so that it goes in all the little crevices you know okay there you go and then sprinkle with cinnamon sugar I brought in this little thing so I can put it in there all right Ooh, you can smell the cinnamon right away Maybe I can do this, let's see. Maybe I can't, I think I'm just gonna do this here. There we go. All right, let's get all the sides and coat this really nice. Seems to be more cinnamon in there than sugar. I'm not going to let any of this go to waste. I'm going to try to use it all. Ooh, look at that. Here, this will help. There you go, buddy. You are all set now. Okay. Now. Place the dough log into the skillet in a cinnamon roll spiral shape. And I think I'm going to start from the inside. So let me get this here. Start here. And just keep going around. It's probably going to poof up as well too. There, it doesn't say it has to... I'm just going to pinch that there. That looks like a nice cinnamon roll. Alright. Place the dough log into the skillet. Okay. Proof for another... 30 minutes. All right, so I'm going to do that and then uh, we'll come back and check it out before we bake it. All right, so here we go. It is going in the oven. It rose just a little bit, not as much as I was hoping. I wanted this big cinnamon roll, but we'll see. I got to let it cool down after it bakes and then we'll frost it and give it a taste. All right, here we go. It baked really nice and it smells good. I'm not sure how it's going to taste. We'll find out. So I need to do the icing. So it was a third of a cup and then. One teaspoon of melted butter, okay, a hint, a hint of vanilla extract, a hint, there's a hint, that's a good hint, and then one teaspoon of milk, there you go, combine them all into a thick frosting, okay, let's see if it's a thick frosting. Then spread it over uh, the baked rolls after rolls are cooled down. Hmm, rolls. Didn't say anything about splitting this up into two rolls. What was it thinking? I think it's too thick, but I like to just, I wanted to just pour it on, but I guess I will have to spread it on. Let me show you that inside. Okay, made a slight camera change there. So if you saw the color change, because I didn't like it. It was a little too bright. All right. So let's spread that on. 
I was hoping I could just pour it on, but then it would not stay on there really good, huh? Nice thick frosting. Ooh. Looky there. Now what I noticed now is that my dough probably wasn't as set as it should have been, or maybe I should have let the yeast go a little bit longer. I think I got it. A little bit there. Nice. Come on. Cover up. Right there. Perfect. And I'll just put the extra there. So, there you go. That is my cinnamon roll. Well, let me come back and get something to drink here and uh, I'll give it a taste. All right. So, I thought with my cinnamon roll today, I would have just a little bit of tea. I thought tea and the cinnamon roll would go good together. So, let me, let me get my tea out. I'm drinking this... Uh, Prince of Peace 100% Organic Green Tea. I usually have about two cups of tea a day now. And no coffee. Haven't had coffee in two weeks. Been trying to switch just to tea. There we go. So I got an old pot here and it's really hot. Would you like to see that a little bit closer as it's steeping in the cup? All right, well that steeps a little now. Is that what it's called, steeping? Ooh, my little penguin with a candy cane cup, a little birdie. All right, so what do you think? Just take a bite of this thing and see what it's like. It feels like a heavy, a heavy cinnamon roll. Let me give it a shot. Hmm, mm hmm. I took a huge bite, as you can tell, and I'm only I'm only tasting the frosting and the cinnamon and sugar topping. The dough probably needed to air out a little bit more, puff up a little bit more, to make it thinner and flakier. But for my first time, I think I'm happy with it. So now, which one do I like the best? So we've done four of them, going all the way back to the brownie. The Mrs. Fields, the Reese's, and then this cinnamon roll. Hmm. I'm a big fan of cinnamon roll. Well, let me take a little sip of my tea. Do you take out your tea bags before you... Ooh, hot, hot. Let's see. And does anybody else twist them around the handle like this? That's how I lock my tea bags in there. Anybody else do that? Weird stuff. And then when I take my tea out, I... Grab the bags like this. Let's see if I can do it. Try not to twist them. Then I'll grab it like this. And then I'll take it like this. And I'll turn it around like this. And I'll do that. I'm sure a lot of you do that. Alright, there you go. Next time I'd let it steep just a little longer. But overall, pretty tasty. So what was I saying now? So, out of all four... I'm sticking with the Hershey's Brownie. I like that one the best so far. And then I'm going to go with the Cinnamon Roll. And then it's a toss-up between the last two. But overall, they're all tasty. And, you know, you're going to probably get different results. Anytime you bake something, you get different results based on the ingredients and the exact measurements. But overall, I think it's fun. And you get the little skillets. Here, let me show you a skillet that came with the other one so you can see the difference in size. Let me move my Cinnamon Roll. See the difference in size? Okay. So this one is about an inch smaller. Get that cinnamon roll back in here. And thanks for watching. And if you want to see the other videos, we'll have a link in the description where you can check them out or you could always just search our channel. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.